These young men are drilling a deep tube well in search of clean drinking water. But these days, the wells are producing more than just clean water. They're also a source of the deadly metal, arsenic. This hand pump, which in Bangladesh is called a tube well, was actively promoted by international aid agencies and the government for the past 20 years. In a country where millions of people die due to waterborne diseases, this was seen as a permanent solution to the drinking water problem. Its water is bacteria-free, is odorless, colorless, and tastes normal. But now in a perverse twist of faith, there is evidence to suggest that this water may contain arsenic, which left unchecked. In its early stages, it can be reversed by drinking clean water and eating good food. But in its later stages, it can lead to cancer and death. Bibi Fatima is 11 years old and has not known life outside of this village. So she's exhibiting the classic symptoms of uh, yes. arsenic poisoning. Yes, this we see the melanosis is there, clearly visible. Her 13-year-old sister, Amina, is also affected. And so is mum. But it's Muhammad Shahid Garibullah, 20 years old, who's the most seriously affected. The authorities are painting a different picture. We need time to tackle the situation. That's the only thing. So there is no lack of sincerity from either from the government side or from the department side. The past few years has been one of really uh, not believing in it and partly also saying okay if we talk about uh, arsenic it may cause panic so the uncertainty number one about whether it's going to cause greater panic and number two about in some kind of in on un, unbelief in disbelief if you like to that the point of it being ignored perhaps uh, not ignored, but not taken as seriously as it deserves. In a country that has been victim to more than its fair share of natural disasters, this is yet another calamity that cannot be ignored. Otherwise, we may witness the slow death of a nation.